Alright guys, welcome back to some more Amori. We are in the Sprout Mold underground village or something. Whoop. Hello, strange looking Sprout Moles. Are you here to see the Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts? Is that the... Is this the concert or whatever? I know this show. We got... Oh, we found it. Okay. I can see it now. A dazzling epic tale about the hardships of romance. The hardships of romance, heartbreak, betrayal, desperation, and loneliness. Oh, the drama. Shouldn't we be putting on our sprout masks? I don't think they're going to let us in. I guess it looks interesting. But now it doesn't seem like the right time. But you promised we could earlier. Please, hero, we need to check this out. Please, 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 please. Alright. Hopefully this won't take too long. May I have your tickets? There they go. <laughs> she reached... Everybody reached into my pockets. Oh, my. I can't believe my eyes. These are front row tickets. You must have made some great sacrifices to be here today. I applaud you. Forgive me for calling you strange looking earlier. At a second glance, you four are the most normal looking sprout moles I've ever seen. Okay. Please enjoy your front row seats. Why the why the treatment? Hmm. Table four merchandise. Um okay. Let's just go in. So yeah, the last part is very, very interesting. So if you have skipped that episode for some reason, I encourage you to watch it because that was, that was interesting. The experience we went through made me question some decisions, but we'll we'll see how this goes. Oh, look at this huge stage. It's just uh, as amazing as I imagined. I don't know why this brings it gives me like pocket mirror vibes. Yeah, I'll take my front row seat. This is what Sprout most sound like when they're talking. This is my best part about, this is my favorite part about like games when they like do little funny stuff like this. Ladies and gentle moles, welcome to a special episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. How are they clapping with no arms? Before our show, we want to take a moment to honor the life of someone who has been an inspiration to us all, our beloved leader, E. Old Sprout. He was truly the father that none of us deserved. Let us have a moment of silence in memory of him. May he rest in peace. And now, on to the show. <laughs> Last time on the Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, our favorite princess, once again, failed to fall in love with any of our eligible bachelors. This time, we've rounded up three new very attractive content. Oh my gosh, it's the- or no, it's not- Oh, what was that show called? I was about to say Newlywed Game, but that's not what that show was called, I don't think. The Dating Game? I forget. Contestant 1 is a local of the uh, Sprout Mole Village. He is coming in at 3 feet tall. His favorite food is tofu. Alright, already a red flag. Uh, and has a huge collection of plastic flamingos. And enjoys long walks on a narrow tunnel. I, look, there's nothing wrong with collecting. Plastic flamingos? Okay. You know, whatever. Be interesting. Destin 2 is, yep, you guessed it. A local of the Sprout Mole Village. Careful, he's coming in hot at three feet and one whole inch. His hobbies include walking, running, and crawling. 
His favorite color combination is brown and green, and he spends his weekends rolling in dirt... round in dirty laundry. Spicy. Sounds like an interesting guy. And now for something completely different. Contestant 3 comes all the way from the other world. <laughs> the fuck? Uh, it's just like he fell out of the sky, literally. According to him and us, that makes him a catch. Give it up for Snaily? the hell's he? I have no idea what that's supposed to even look like. I thought it looked like a cat for a second, but no, I don't know. It looks like a cup. Cuphead. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Dim the lights, please. She admits. Beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most... Plitridunculous face? I think the first time I've ever seen that word. Yes, you know who we're talking about. She's all, uh, she's all that is amazing and wonderful. And she is just about to set foot on this very stage. Please give a big warm and welcome to the one, the only, the magnificent. Sweet Thunder? Oh! Oh no, a blackout. Someone got murdered, but yeah, there's a blackout. Now what do we do? I have to know what happens. Let's just wait it out. I'm sure these sprout moles will get the power back on. Help, we don't know what to do. We don't know what to do either. Help. What, you need an electrician? What? Help. <laughs> well... Maybe we should look around just in case. What am I looking around for? Help! Alright, I guess we'll look around. I have no idea what we're, like, looking around for. Uh, I guess the blackout affected all of the Sprout Mole Village, too. What do we do now? Don't worry, Aubrey. This is where a handyman expertise comes into play. In cases like this, we should probably be looking for some kind of backup generator. <laughs> okay, well, let's go ahead and save real quick. Do you know of a backup generator? Oh, never mind. You're weird as fuck. Hey, you there. You creatures seem like well-seasoned travelers. Could you help me out? My brother lives in Sprout Mole Colony in under Otherworld. I'll send him a care package. Yeah, I'll take it. Hopefully we run into him. Okay. Add to more uh, side quests. Did I heal? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right, not sure what's going on there. He has multiple sprout heads on him. They're all just kind of freaking out. This wall is nice and cold. What? Oh, they got a classroom here. They got an education system. Oh, we are two. We are one. We are Tuan. <laughs> we are Tuan. I like this song. Wait, what? You must be here to learn about the best culinary feast of tofu. Yes. Quite my oh, thank you. Oh, wait, what? I thought he was handing me tofu. He's giving me a fact or a trivia. It takes 12,672 blocks of tofu lined up end-to-end -end lengthwise to equal one mile. Okay, I didn't need to know that. Thanks. Thanks for nothing. Now, what is going on with you? You guys are just obsessed with tofu. Look at me. I am truly the most beautiful sprout mole, and am I not? Is that how they gauge who's the most beautiful with the most leaves? What the fuck is this? Well, sir, man, could I interest you in purchasing some fine tofu? Yeah, I'll take one. 
<laughs> okay. Never hurts to have tofu on you. Well, sorry, hold up. What does tofu do exactly? Um, oh, five hearts. Wasted money. <laughs> we have a laundry. Christmas. We have a Christmas tree in here. Christmas is my favorite time of year, so why not just celebrate Christmas all the time? Oh. <laughs> oh, I got a present. Christmas is ruined. <laughs> like I care. Oh, this is not the generator. So hard to get a good night's sleep. If only I had something to make the experience of sleeping more comfortable. Um, can we knock him out? Oh, I thought maybe it was like one of those things where, you know, she could hit him with a bat or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's probably concerning. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. I wrote down the joke. Okay, that's how you can do that. There's multiple ladders. Oh, is this that guy's room with the flamingos? Okay, whatever. I don't... <laughs> boop, boop, boop. A mirror? What's with the mirrors? Pick up the pace, boys. We need to make haste. Oh, is this the place? Why isn't this working? I feel sick. Just keep running moles. Nothing gets done without a little sweat. Never sure what to expect with this uh, mirror. Alright, well this is- what? You son of a bitch. You guys are so stupid. I thought we were gonna have to get on the treadmills for a second, but... Huh. Hey, moles, good job. Now keep running. <laughs> this game. What's this? I will exercise with my friends. Okay. Didn't get an achievement or anything for that, but that's okay. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I hope everybody's happy. What's going on down here? I did miss this one. Sprout, uh, sprout moles, while intelligent, are also very obsessive creatures. As you can see, I lack any sense se uh, se bleh, semblance of self-control. I try to read all fast and shit, and it just ends up just falling apart. Well, we solved the problem. Alright. Everybody's fine, right? Oh, someone help, please. Or, uh, help me. I am in need of a handsome gentleman. Hmm. Ah, you, yes. You there, the striped pants. You magnificent beast! Yes, yes, you look like you'll do just fine. Huh? Wait, uh, thanks, I don't know what to say. Please, kind sir, would you help out a poor lowly mole? You know, it's funny, Amori probably didn't want to go up there, but, like, it kind of sucks that he just kind of went right by him. <laughs> anyway. They asked so nicely, how can I refuse? Just acknowledging who's more handsome of the four of us. Can my friends come too? Ah, yes, your friends! Are you all here to see Sweetheart's Quest, yes? If so, you will all meet again soon enough. Now, come on, we must make haste. Time is short. Not sure how I feel about Hero leaving the party. He was our cook. But alright. Kind of surprised. I thought maybe Amori would be up there, but nope. Makes sense.
Greetings, sweetheart fans. We apologize for the short intermission. Welcome back to our regularly scheduled program. During the break, we regret to inform you that a tragic incident has occurred right here on this very stage. <laughs> uh, it is at this time we announce the sudden loss of Contestant 3. We will remember him fondly for the few seconds we got to know of him. He was truly a unique and irreplaceable soul. Anyway, here's his replacement. <laughs> okay. Please give a warm welcome to contestant number three, the new one, hailing all the way from the vast forest. He's our hero in shining armor. <laughs> Wait, Sprapple might get this, guys. Hero's a real honk, standing at a whopping 5'7". His passions include baking, cooking, and cleaning. And if that doesn't sound like the perfect man, check out his killer smile and mild personality. And now, once again, it's time to introduce the star of the show. Dim the lights, please. She admits beauty. She exudes grace. Truly has the most saw that word again face. You all know who we're talking about. She's the all amazing and wonderful. Is amazing and wonderful, and she is just about to set foot on this very stage. She is the one, the only, the magnificent. <laughs> she also a sprout mole. Oh God. Don't evil villains have this type, type of laugh? An excellent entrance, my liege. Ah, uh, yes. It is me! Hello, my stupid, adoring fans. <laughs> we love you. Good God. Sweetheart, we have brought you three of the best bachelors in the world onto the stage. Will today be the day that one of them steals your heart? Probably not. Let's start with some questions. One thing the sweetheart values most in companion is complete and absolute obedience. Do you contestant one agree to pledge your allegiance to sweetheart for the rest of your life? Wait, what the fuck? We get married now? Like, what is your answer, contestant one? Uh. Sure. I don't know. I guess. Playing hard to get, I see. What do you think about uh, that response, sweetheart? Just three feet tall. My, that's way too. Sh that's much too short. Send him off to the dungeon. Set <laughs> the dungeon. What? That's extremely unfair. What? Help! That's incredibly unfair. We ask you the same question. Contestant 2, there's no right or wrong answer. Just answer truthfully. You know, or end up in prison. Will you pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, uh... Sure, if that means I won't get sent to the dungeon. My word, this one. This very being offends me. <laughs> Take him away, boys. Yeah, I would run too. Oh, shit. That's bullshit. Like, they never knew this was what was going to happen. Contestant 3, it looks like you're the last one standing. I'll ask you the same question one more time. And again, no pressure at all. Do you, Hero, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, no, that doesn't seem fair at all. Why would I do that? My. This one. He's absolutely immaculate. Could it be? Is Sweetheart in love? You always talk to yourself in third person? 
What an exciting turn of events. This must be fate. A match made in heaven. Wait, what? I just said no. Ah, you'll do just fine. Now, what was your name again? Uh, it's... It's Hero, ma'am. Hero? My hero. We must go to my chambers at once. Yikes. Guards, I have chosen my suitor. Take him away. To my bedroom. <laughs> Guys? We're going to have to fight some guards. Hero's going to marry Sweetheart? I didn't see that coming. Aubrey, you said this was the most amazing play ever. Are you sure? What are you saying? We have to help him. What do you mean to do about it? I don't want to go to the dungeon. Oh, Kelly, you're useless. Hero, you have to reject Sweetheart. It's time, Hero. Your princess awaits. Bro. I don't think she's going to listen. Just do it. Okay, I'll try. Excuse me, sweetheart? Ma'am? Ah, yes, my lovely hero. How I yearn to s for the sound of your sweet voice. Say my name again. Ah, that, that's real nice, but, uh... I don't have to do this. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm not interested. Why, whatever you do mean, my prince. I, uh... This is all real flattering and all, you know, but... We just only met a few moments ago. And, well, I have to reject your, uh, offer? It's like sh she doesn't care because she already made the decision. <laughs> I never heard such so something sillier. But it's true, though. I'm sorry, but... I don't want to marry you. Oh, she got that message clear. This is preposterous. No. This... This is blasphemy. You dare reject Sweetheart? Everyone loves Sweetheart. Everyone! Send him off to the dungeon. Hey, stop right there. You can't take Hero. He belongs to us. What's this now? What a non-sweetheart fan doing in the audience? I see. You must be Hero's fans. The nerve of you lot. First you make fool out of me, and then you interrupt during my own show. I'm the one who makes the rules around here. Take them away, guards. Okay. <laughs> all, all the... Wait. I thought, I thought people in the audience were running away. Now you've done it. Oh, we don't have a fight scene or anything. Wow, damn. Now we're stuck in the dungeon. That <laughs> sounds like a Mario game or some shit in here. It's my fault that we're in this mess. It actually isn't. It's really not. No one could have predicted what would happen. Although I thought you were like a big fan of the play, though. <laughs> okay, that's really annoying. Mustache mold. You fools! Don't you recognize me? No? It's me, Rosa. I'm number one sweetheart's fan in the world. I told you you'll be paying for crossing me. Huh? We've been bamboozled. I should have known you were behind this. Oh, I remember her now. It's, just, it's the mixtape mole. Yeah. You rot. You peons are now rot in the dungeon forever. Wait, so you led those four moles with the tickets towards us? And then we picked them up? That was her plan? How are we going to get out of here? We'll find a way. Come on, guys. Let's think about this. Where do we even start? It's not like they'll just leave the gate unlocked. Would they? And <laughs> Watch, they did. <laughs> Just noticed a guard's uh, walk in there. It can't be this easy, right? 
Well, that sucks. I got ramen out of the toilet. Okay, he looks kind of tough, actually. <laughs> his, oh, his name's Harold, by the way. Hi, Harold. Everyone say hi to Harold. Yeah, he looks kind of strong. Okay, that used to make Amori um, sad, but now it made him happy. I guess it changed. That's okay. Yeah, we need to make someone sad. Anyway. Hmm. This might not actually be as tough as I thought it might be. Yeah, no, he's almost dead. Yeah, I was gonna say, that other boss, man, I mean... Either either I played it, uh, you know, the way it was intended, or maybe I am underleveled, I don't know. Just makes me weird. But yeah, we got ramen out of the toilet. So that's great. And he keeps running past the entrance. Um... Are those eyeballs? Oh, shit. What the hell am I supposed to do? We just have to escape this dungeon, right? Oh, right. I forgot. Alright, Kel. Oh! Okay. Royal Bath? Oh, that is the Royal Bath. This is not Fruit Punch. Oh, that's locked. Well, then I'm gonna have to fight them, then. What the hell is that thing? Okay, we avoided it. Now, what's in here? The mirror makes you look... unflattering. What am I doing in here? <laughs> no other reason? We couldn't use the cardboard boxes? Like, to sneak around? Wait, what is this room for? Aw, oh, come on, man. That's ridiculous. Special hell for you, my dear. What the fuck? Well, I'm disappointed. This room ended up being nothing, and we're gonna fight this thing. <laughs> what? Ew, you tape it to him. That's funny. Marsha. And we killed Marsha, and we're getting a lot of XP, so... Pretty happy about that, but yeah, this... Can we turn this off? Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, is there nothing over here that's... That was a job for Aubrey. Oh, okay. Alright, that's just so weird. Like, if you're gonna unlock a room, it had to have been an important room, but I guess not. Oh. Or maybe it was just supposed to let me... Oh, jeez. Oh, it's better if we just fight these things. Sorry, Harold. Today's not your day. Whoa, what? Oh, he protected himself. Not sure what he protected himself from, but it didn't do much. Alright, well, it looks like we're gonna have to hit that button. And... And I don't know. Oh, I got more ridiculous tofu. That is locked. Hmm. Yeah, whoever's over there looks like we're gonna have to get past you. 
Turns out you have a halberd taped to your side. Well, that's locked too? I don't get it. Might as well just fight him. The illusion of stealth. Like, we were able to be a little stealthy before, but this, this section doesn't seem like it has a stealth section. Well, maybe we could use the boxes, but they didn't say nothing. It's a little disappointing. I would have loved to walk around with a cardboard box. There we go. Although, what's to stop them from, you know, chopping at a uh, mysterious um, cardboard box? Stabbing it with a halberd. Okay, that unlocks that, and we set you free? What are we gonna do? No one's ever escaped the dungeon. What are you gonna do? Oh! Oh, what? Mari's just down here? Oh, shit. Hmm. Hi. Huzzah. After countless failures, I finally almost made my escape. Move, bitch. There's a button right here. I am disappointed. Oh, well, here we go. Literally covering a button and just decides to just block it. Okay, this is actually really fun. An actual dungeon. Oh. It's Mari. Mari, help us. We're stuck in the dungeon. Oh no. We're again we're just so weird, we're just not questioning why she's just here. And now enjoy a picnic with me. I promise you'll feel better right away. It's so funny to me. But yeah, I will take the healing. But I don't like pickles. You better just eat them anyway. Is Amori neutral? Yeah. <laughs> He's neutral on pickles. A nice dill pickle is pretty good. Alright, so going down this way, we have another ladder. Actually, I should... Whoops. Go back to Aubrey here. Who knows what's in here? Oh, just more tofu. Of course there is. Um... Another button. Like, who fills, like, pottery with, with tofu? That's just so weird. Imagine liking tofu. What does that do? Unlocks that one. Okay. Okay. Now what does this unlock? Hmm? What? We could have had a better uh, system here, but you decided... Anyway, that's weird. <laughs> Luckily, none of us had to be trapped in that spot. <laughs> Interesting. Alright. I don't know where all the yellow ladders go to, but this might be the more important one, maybe, right? This seems really important. Oh. This looks really important. Hold on. <laughs> this game is so weird, but I, I love it. Alright, so we're going to head down this way. And I'm assuming this might lead to the exit? Or at least to, like, the first floor, maybe? But it looks like we've escaped the dungeon. That wasn't that hard. I'm getting rich off it, too. Look there. We're finally at the exit. Free him at last. Yeah, let's get out of here. I don't want to ever see another Sprout Mole again. We're probably about to fight a Sprout Mole. The boss mole. What? 
<laughs> Gotta remember the more important uh, quest in this whole thing is to find a teddy bear. <laughs> Probably not gonna find it in this huge place, but we'll see. Oh my god, the dungeon just has this... Oh! We're not prisoners. Well, not anymore. And back to the dungeon to you four. We were so close, too. What do we do? Think, hero, think. How can we get out of this? I got it. <gasps> oh, the masks. On the contrary, Sir Knight, I think we've mistaken us for someone else. <sighs> Don't be so quick to judge. We're sprout moles, see? Indubitably. Yes, quite. I am a lover of tofu and sweetheart. Del delicious sweet- I mean tofu. Egad, my eyes have deceived me. I apologize. Rather hard to see through this helmet. Very well. Carry on, then. We will resu I will resume my patrol. You lot ought to return to your stations as well, lest our dear sweetheart notices. Holy shit. Why didn't we just put him on sooner? I thought that was, like, the number one thing we would do. With these sprout mole masks, we were able to get, a get out of here in a cinch. Do we really have to keep wearing these? Mine's getting kind of itchy. Well, this avoided prison, so yes. Let's move. Alright, the first thing that catches my eye is this bunny. Candle bunny. <laughs> Alright, this place is huge. I don't know what we're supposed to be going or doing yet. Oh my god. This is really uh, creepy. Huh. Where to explore first? I mean... What was our original goal again? Well, no, it's the fine basil, of course, but like, why did we come here? Hmm. <sighs> Fuck it, we'll throw it in, in the fountain. Apparently it's not water, either. Wait, did nothing happen? Still nothing happened. Something's gotta happen, right? Alright, I'm gonna throw two more. Okay, I guess five don't work. That's really weird. What? Why am I fighting? Just because I bumped into him? Whoops. I didn't think that was going to happen. Alright guys, well that's going to be it for this video of this uh, episode of Amori. Uh, in the next part, we're going to look around the castle and see if Basil is anywhere. Uh, that is just essentially what the story is right now. So other than that, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Peace out.